everyone. Um, today I'm going to introduce to you brain waves and how it affects um, us and in particularly um, individuals with autism spectrum disorder. Now, what are brain waves? Brain waves are electrical pulses from our brain um, when our neurons are communicating with each other. In other words, they are signals of our brain activities. Now, what does the brain waves look like? It looks like something like that when you record your brain waves down. We can categorize our brain waves into slow waves and fast waves. Now, delta, theta, and alpha, as you can see, moves more slowly and they are categorized as slow waves. Beta and gamma, on the other hand, moves very intensively and they are what we call fast waves. Now, when our brain is dominated by um, slow brain waves um, or there are excessive slow waves going on, you tend to be tired, dreamy, and sleepy. But when fast brain waves takes over, so when there's a lot of fast brain waves going on, one tends to be more energetic and alert. How does knowing our brain wave affects us? Now, when we know our brain waves, we will be able to uh, assess your child's um, performance and help them in, in their different abilities such as memory, attention, language comprehension, peak performance, reduce their hyperactivity, um, improve their emotion regulation and also sleep regulation. What about individuals with ASD? Um, research has shown that individual, 60% um, of the time, individuals with ASD has excessive high beta, which is fast brain waves going on in their brain. 40% um, of the individuals have excessive slow brain waves, which is delta and theta in their brain. And a small part of them have different abnormal brain waves going on. For example, Research shows that um, individuals with ASD tend to have uh, excessive slow brain waves in the frontal region. So it's in the front part, the pink part, uh, pink part of your brain. And when that happens, uh, they tend to have problems with uh, attention and that uh, leads them to have learning difficulties. There also is excessive fast brain wave in the prefrontal region, excess beta in the prefrontal region, which is somewhere above your eyebrow. Now, when that happens, they tend to get um, impulsive, they have got temper tantrums problem, and they tend to be um, get irritable very easily. And if we move on to um, the uh, temporal, so which is the site of your brain, um, so we look at, they tend to have excessive slow brainwave, delta brainwave at the right ear, right temporal lobe. And that causes them to have social problems, they have um, inability to interact with each other. And at the left side, they have got excessive alpha brainwave at the left ear, left temporal region, and that causes them to have problems with language and communication, as that's where your um, language uh, uh, control is. Then we move on to the back part. There tend to be insufficient alpha brain wave at the posterior region um, of your brain and that causes them to have to be very sensitive to the environment and that's why most of them tend to be very anxious. And if we move to the uh, top part, middle part of your brain, there tend to be insufficient alpha brain wave at the sensory motor regions that causes them to have uh, imitation problems, they won't be able to imitate, uh, imitate behavior or mimic instructed tasks. Now, this is an example of how different brain waves will actually affect one's performance. Now, if you're interested in assessing your child's um, brain waves, um, do give us a call, visit our website or comment below so my colleague will be able to contact you. Thank you.